hello guys in this video i am going to introduce you to this new tool called as gpt sovits web ui this tool is quite a powerful web tool for voice conversion and text to speech provided you are able to install it successfully because most of this stuff is in chinese which is very hard to understand and the documentation which they have put on github and a lot of other resources are simply uh, very very of low quality so it's very hard to read what exactly they are trying to say the tool looks good gets installed pretty fairly uh, good i was able to install it on both ubuntu and windows but then um, the fine tuning the training and the inference there are a lot of things which are still unclear because the documentation is really not up to the par anyway so what it does is that it also allows you zero shot text to speech or tts with a 5 second voice sample and also a few short tts with only 1 minute of data enhancing voice similarity it supports cross lingual conversion into english japanese and chinese so let's see how you can get it installed on windows first thing you need to do is to go to their github repo and i'll drop the link in video description once you are there just scroll down and keep scrolling down here you will find a zip file which is called as pre zip right click and then uh, put it on your local folder on your windows machine make sure that you have windows 10 or greater and the size of this file is huge it is around 4.5 gigabyte so make sure even the zip file so make sure you have that much space and then um, you would need the win 7 zip tool in order to unzip it So go to Seven Zips website, which is seven dash zip dot org, and download the Seven Zip if you don't have it already, and then unzip that file. So I already have unzipped it, as you can see here. Just double click on it, and then from here you will see a lot of files. Now the good thing is that they have already put in FFmpeg and FF Probe, so these two files are crucial for it. Once you have these things, just click on this double click on this windows batch file and it will open this tool in your local browser and it would look like this as you can see here running on a uh, local host at port 9874 and you can of course access it in your browser remotely Now there are three things you can do here zero fetch data set which is as I said you would need a 5 minute audio second and then uh, once you have that you can do couple of things like you can start audio slicer so just put any uh, local folder name where your audio file is click on start audio slicer and it is going to do the slicing here and it's fairly quick uh, also you can do the automatic speech recognition again just uh, you would need the asr tool now i have no idea what exactly this log means you can just simply put your folder here and then start it it takes bit of a time and then it is running that is cool you can even stop it if you like but it will take bit of a time so i will let it run now another thing which you can do with it just click on this one gpt sovit tts task first you can um, you need to format your data set accordingly you will need to put your text labeling file and then once you have it just uh, put your data set audio data set folder here tell any local folder where your um, audio files are which you want to do the training on and then once the data set is formatted you can do start um, start speech to text once at that time you can find start the fine tuning training by clicking here that will take a long time of course depending upon your system and all that gpu stuff i already have one gpu on this and then here you can do the inference by refreshing the model with the weights and all that stuff now this is where it uh, becomes bit harder because if you go to their github repo and try to see that uh, is there need documentation available for example if i click on this video this doesn't really work nothing happen it just stops here if i click on this demo video this takes me to a site called as bilibili.com and it is all in chinese so i have no idea what this is saying i try to translate it but in vain so i think this is one area they can improve a lot 
uh, because that would really enable us to play around with it more and see how it works anyway seems like a new tool i'm sure as the time will pass it will evolve more and we will have more information around it so far so good and then you can also get it installed on your ubuntu system on the mac and they have this instruction in their github repo and i'll drop the link in video's description that's it guys i hope that you liked it let me know your thoughts on it or if you're aware of any similar tool that would be great if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much